by faith, and so we were just blessed to be here, blessed to get the opportunity, and so that's kind of what we, we thrive off. So they have no reason to uh, to hang their heads right now. They did an awesome job with the time that they were given. How many games did you guys play this season? I think we played th- before this one. I think it was 13. So I think we were 12 and one, 13 total games, and this makes 14. To have. Like you said, a lot of these teams have played 30 games going into the night and have these girls respond the way they have. I mean, what's that say about this program and how far it's come? Oh, man, it says a lot about, like, our community. It says a lot about these young ladies, their dedication um, to the to the game of, of women's basketball. Um, and so, again, just having, you know, the parents that, that support them and get them um, through a lot of things because, you know, Kids being off from, from school and the whole pandemic, you know, losing uh, family members, it was tough, you know, and not to be able, not to to get into the gym and do the thing that they love they love to do uh, was tough. But you know, we made it through. And again, I'm very impressed with how they they've handled themselves and how they've um, uh, got here. And so we we didn't we didn't want that outcome, but you know, given the circumstances of not being able to do conditioning, not being able to do our regular things, that hurt us, and we can tell, because we were really gassed at times, and so, um, unfortunate, but we're, we're blessed to be here. Rose, you're one of the few seniors on this team. A couple of state tournament appearances now, back to back, I mean, not the results you wanted, but to get here, I mean, just how special in this year of all years is it to be back here in the Murphy Center? Um, it feels great, but I'm kind of, like, down, because we we worked so hard to get back to where we was at because it's a lot of stuff, a lot of things that hold us back. We couldn't practice and we just try to find other ways to work hard, to do something and then just, well, we don't like the outcome, but uh, from my experience of um, from with being three years at Maplewood, I like it so far. And um, I got a, a great coach, so I was, I'm just, I'm just for you as a as a player, uh, I know for coaches, it's they're trying to get you guys ready. How difficult was it to get ready for the season this year, having so limited time in the gym while well, everybody else is able to play? You guys didn't get started until February. It was difficult because we didn't know if we could practice the next day, so it was like up and down, up and down. So we just have to like work on our own, and then sometimes we just have to we couldn't go nowhere, so we just have to work what we had and. It was just hard, but it was just, I didn't like that. Yeah. As a junior on this team, you're, you're going to be back next year. How big was this run this year for some of the underclassmen who are coming back next season? It was a big one. I mean, it, it, should, it should have cost them a lot of things and get them ready for next year so we should be able to come back this, next year. Coach, last Metro National team standing. Not tonight how you wanted it to go, but – your last one standing, just how special is that for you? It's real special. Like, um, you know, these kids, man, we've been through a lot. And so um, it's very emotional, you know, again, because we, we wanted to continue to play. We knew we had the talent. And when it, when it comes down to possibly a couple practices or 10 more, 10 more games that we could have played or, should have been able to play to, to get us prepared for for this moment. It's, it's very emotional, but at the same time, we didn't want to make any excuses. We wanted to come here and and, um, and, and play hard, and that's exactly what we did. So um, again, the moment we're gonna go, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna make a weekend of it because they deserve it. We didn't get the opportunity to um, to celebrate our success last year, but. Um, I'm super proud to to coach the young ladies that I've been able to coach. You, you mentioned it kind of earlier, the getting gas.